What's up guys, very short video, as also nothing too exciting, but I always get asked why I leave the Lily pop up or why certain junglers, you know, don't kill the junglers fast enough. So I just make a quick showcase. It's gonna be very, very fast. So left side we have it, the, you know where we kill the Lily pop instantly. On the right side I wait a bit and you're gonna see that we have a bit more experience already. You can see on the bar, again, it's nothing too crazy, but it's just a bit more experience. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna clear the entire jungle with this here on Gengar level 4. Azuma we still level 3. So there's where you can see a slight difference in experience. And uh, even though we even, even fast on Gengar, so... Or like, Azuma is behind, we're still gonna have more experience on Gengar. One more Corpfish cleared. And then we go towards the next, corp, next Corpfish. There we go. And Gengar is done now. You can see the experience. And it's even also faster, right? Like, Gengar cleared at 9.16 and Azuma cleared at 9.13. So, Gengar's even 3 seconds faster and still has more experience in total as well. So he's even ahead. But he still has more experience at the same time too. So, just a short video on this because I always get asked. Like, you don't have to do it. You really don't. It's just something you can do. The only problem is that, you know, this strategy relies on your laners not walking close to the Lily Pup. Because your Lily Pup can get stolen by an auto attack because people don't really pay attention. This is also something if you play and walk to lane, always walk in the middle of the lane. Don't walk, like, next to the jungle. Always make sure you walk in the lane, in the middle of the lane or at the bottom of the lane. So you don't ac accidentally auto attack the Lily Pup for the jungler. This is something that happens actually quite often. But so yeah, if you're worried about that, don't do it. But it's just something you can do, just a bit of small experience. But it can be very important for Pokemon like Delphox. Because Delphox, you know, is a level 3 Pokemon. A level 4 Wolf Pokemon, right? So if you get level 4 after the blue buff, you can clear your red buff also faster, right? So it's it can be very nice for level 4 Pokemon that need to be, you know, a Wolf on level 4. So in case you play level 4 Pokemon, you, you probably can do it, can do this. If you don't, then don't. But also, if you decide to gank after like one Corpfish as well and don't do the second Corpfish, you still have more experience towards level 5 as well. So in the end, it is quite useful. Again, nothing too insane. As you can see, level 4 to level 3 on the right. So if I was a Day Fox on the left side, I would be level 3. If I was a Day Fox on the, uh, on the right side, I would have my first evolution already anyway so I hope this was helpful again it's nothing too crazy just a bit of more experience i'm gonna show it one more time when they level up right here so yeah it would be much easier for gengar as well to get level 5 when he does like a level 4 gang compared to the azumarill